Patrick went to the pool from 10.40 a.m. until 2.45 p.m. How many hours and minutes was Patrick at the pool? This is a video about elapsed time. Elapsed time is how, many time, how much time has passed. We're going to do two methods, and this is method one, the timeline method. First, let's look at the question and how it was asked. The question in this case was, how many hours and minutes was Patrick at the pool? But the truth is, elapsed time can look, in, look like many different questions. How long was Patrick at the pool? That would be an elapsed time question. How much spot, uh, time did Patrick spend at the pool? What was Patrick's total time at the pool? How long did it take for Patrick to leave the pool? Also, elapsed time can be a question in which they give you the time he arrived at the pool, how long he was at the pool, and the question can be um, what time did he leave the pool, such as at what time did Patrick leave the pool, or what time did Patrick start walking home. So here we have the question that we are solving. Patrick went to the pool from 10.40 a.m. until 2.45 p.m. How many hours and minutes was Patrick at the pool? There's the question that we are solving. Here's the important information that we need to know. Now the timeline uh, method for doing this problem involves drawing a timeline. So as you can see here, I've drawn my line, and we've had plenty of practice and measurement doing that. I've drawn my line, and I'm going to write my beginning time right at the beginning here, 10.40 a.m. I'm just going to write a little a.m. A.m. indicates if we are in the morning or at night. Now, a.m. isn't going to necessarily be the beginning time, so make sure you read the problem fully and completely to determine what your beginning time is. He went from 10.40 a.m. until 2.45 p.m. And what you're going to do next is keep writing out marks for every hour that he is there until you run out of hours. So he was there from 10.40 to 11.40 to 12.40 to 1.40 to 2.40. Now I can't go to 3.40 because that would go past my uh, leaving time. So I'm going to write 11.40. Now hopefully you guys remember that when we get up to 12, we circle back around and start with 1 again. So now we're going to count up our hours. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have one, two, three, four. So far we have four hours. Now we're going to put our finishing time here, 2.45. We're going to count by five minutes until we can't count anymore. But fortunately, we have just five left until we get here. There's just a five minute difference, and we can say, five minutes and we are done. So how many hours and minutes was Patrick at the pool? Four hours and five minutes. Let's try to do one more. Find the elapsed time from 5.25 p.m. to 10.40 p.m. So here's our last one at the top. We're going to try to continue and um, make another copy just like this one down here. Alright, so we're going to make another timeline, number line. Start with our beginning. We're finding the elapsed time from 5.25 p.m. to 10.40 p.m. So our beginning time is 5.25. Let's put that here. Now our first step is to can count by hours until we can't count anymore without going over. So we're going to do um, 625, 725, 
825, 9, 25, 10, oh, wait, we cannot do, uh, oh, no, we can't. We can do 10, 25 because that is not going over. Okay. Now we're going to count by fives to get to 40. We're going to do our minutes. So we have 25, we do 30, 35, 40. So we have one, five, 10, 15 minutes here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five hours here. So we have five hours and 15 minutes. So the elapsed time from 5.25 p.m. to 10.40 p.m. is five hours, 15 minutes. This is the one I would like you to work on. Find the elapsed time from 11.25 p.m. to 4.35 a.m. I'll help you get started. Okay, so it's doing with the number line. We have our time that we are finding uh, the elapsed time between. Do our number line, timeline. Our beginning time, starting time is 11.25 p.m. And first you're going to skip to find the hours. And then don't forget to count by fives to find the minutes. Okay, I will be checking this tomorrow. We'll do a little bit more practice with this. And then I will teach you the other method. Good luck.